All right, everybody, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at the various effects that are available to us in KDN Live. Now, once again, we saw with the previous video that a lot of the effects that are available with the transitions are very, very similar to their image manipulation counterparts. The same thing applies here. So if we look at the effect list, we can see that we have a lot of blur and color correction and things like that. So we have quite a few options, quite a few different things that we can do to the video. And as you can see right here, even the audio can be manipulated within the program. Adding an effect to a clip is actually pretty simple in Kdenlive. Live. First, we just need to select the clip that we want to apply an effect to. And all of the effects are categorized, things like blur and hide, color, color correction, distortion. For now, we just want to blur this one. So we'll expand out this box, double click blur to add it to this. Again, if you're familiar with image manipulation software, this is going to seem really familiar to you. All you really have to do is set your parameters here. It will show what's going on if you have that time frame selected with the time cursor. So you can get something of a real time preview of what it'll look like. As you can see, if I drag the bar up, the effect gets stronger. Drag it down, the effect disappears. Now, depending on what effect you're going for, there will be multiple parameters in here. For color correction, it'll have effect strength, color warmth, things like that in there, depending on what you're going with. Here we only have a few options. How strong we want the blurring to be, how we want the blurring done. As you can see, we have exponential low pass and Gaussian. And whether we want to include the edge in the blurring. All in all, this is actually pretty simple. The big thing is just understanding what the different effects will do for you. As you can see, there are just an absolute ton of effects. All right, everybody, go out, have a good time playing with everything for a little while. I hope to see everybody back for the next video. We'll be looking at doing effects over time as opposed to just on and off. It's actually pretty easy, especially if you're coming from animation.